Okay, Bob, what have you got in your hand there? We've got the resource consent for our uh, compost toilets and our rainwater recycling. So we're pretty proud of this one. So I'm going to take you through what started this. We wanted a, a generic design so everyone could use it. And the main breath was that it was low cost, common materials, we could build it ourselves and it was effective recycling. What do you mean by effective recycling? Well, we wanted to make sure that all the nutrients that, 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 that are coming out of the composting toilets and out of the grey water are going to be recycled into the environment and, and are going to give us some yield. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with the composting toilet. Um, this is pretty much um, standard in New Zealand now in a lot of ways, but it was still a good process to take it through the resource consent. So here's our, here's our toilet seat. We're going to have a drum underneath. Um, we've got a little container here, and that's got something like legs in it, a good high carbon source. So we use the toilet here, we put some of the leaves in there, and that gives us an ideal composting mix. When, the, when this drum here is full, we take it out from the house and we put it in our, out in the orchard something with a lid on and we leave it for 12 months. So this is composting away, which is going to mean that all the pathogens are cleared from it. And then once it's been sitting here for 12 months, it goes, gets put around some trees and mulched over or it might even get put into the garden. So that's our composting toilet system. Um, particularly low cost and easy for us to manage ourselves. Down here I've got just a, a little diagram on the grey water system. We're, we're using, um, this, is, this is new in New Zealand. Uh, as far as I know there's, there's no others in New Zealand. I haven't heard too many anyway. It's called a branched um, drainage system. And if we take an, one example here, so this is a, a basin, and we have our normal s bin underneath it, the water goes down a pipe, and we'll split it numerous times. In this case, in the diagram, I've split it twice. So one goes off to the left, one goes off to the right. On the right here is what, what we're calling a biofilter. The water comes into the biofilter, and it spreads into the material either side of this little container here. We've got a little lid on it so that we can maintain it, make sure it's all working well. So it's, it's a really simple system. There's no tanks which cost more and there's no fancy um, electronic equipment or, or anything and it's very unlikely to block. It's just a nice simple system, low cost, recycles all the water into our environment and we can grow trees on it. And so they're not only low cost, but because we've, the Kotari Community Land Trust has done them as a generic design, it means everyone in the village has a choice of using it without having to pay an engineer each yeah, time. So we, we've, we've already paid for the resource, and resource consent. Once we've done the detailed design so that we can show the council, effectively, every, effectively everyone will use um, that same information. So it, it'll cost very little for the design and uh, only a small proportion of the cost of a normal system. Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you. So next up will be the uh, generic house design. Yes, we, we, yeah, we're working through the generic design for the housing as well, and we're well into that one. Pretty much the same um, co papa there. We, we want to make sure that that uh, everyone can um, use the designs. We can, we can have modular housing and that's low cost to build and low cost for the design. So, and this is the composting toilet and the grey water are just part of that generic design. Great, thank you.